All right, for our viewers at home, tell us a little bit about the film without getting too much, in, you know, giving away spoilers or anything. Then we'll jump right into the interview. So it's based on a time in my life. I was a, a professional ballet dancer, and it's a story about a young dancer um, who gets an opportunity to go to the ballet school of his dream, but has to uh, step away from it because of an injury. And it's a story about asking yourself, why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it for the limelight, for the prestige, or are you doing it because you you love doing it. Tell us a little bit about your ballet career. How did you get into ballet? What did you enjoy about it? So I was always an active kid. You know, I was the kid uh, climbing the china cabinet, uh, uh, you know, all, uh, doing every single sport underneath the sun, martial arts, all of it. And uh, my mother took me to see the Nutcracker, but I didn't get it at the time. I only saw girls in tutus. And it wasn't until, but it's true, it's the truth. <laughs> but but, but it, it wasn't until I saw uh, a show full of male dancing Thing, where I saw the athleticism and I went, ah, I, I want to do that. And uh, long story short, my mom got me started in, in lessons and um, I finished out my training at the San Francisco Ballet School. I then performed with the company, with the school and the company for a brief moment, but then I was at American Repertory Ballet, Indianapolis Ballet, and I guest performed with a dozen other companies around the U.S. Talk to us about the story. How did you get the inspiration for the story? How did you storyboard the story? Where did you, you know, how did you formulate this? Because this is a very powerful and very good film. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you, Dev. Uh, I wrote the script and I started workshopping it. And uh, I saw the impact that it was having with people and people were asking me when I was going to make it. And I honestly said I wasn't. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but then I saw the impact and I went, oh, I have to take this seriously. So uh, I, I, knew, I knew Danny, Danny Safka, and she introduced me to Danny Mooney at a Fourth of July party. And a few months later, we jumped in on set and shot the thing. And here we are. Yeah. You know, tell us about the casting. The casting is very powerful. The characters fit very well. So where did you find your cast at? So a lot of it was uh, word of mouth. A lot of our uh, friends, um, uh, a lot of people that we we all knew. Um, a few friends. I don't know if, if you want to speak to your... Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of friends that we that we just were badass actors, and we were like, you deserve to be in this film. You are the person. Um, but then what was really important to us too is that anyone in the film that's playing a ballet dancer is a ballet dancer, a proper ballet dancer. And so Cameron was playing himself. That casting went pretty quickly. We were like, yeah, you should you should do the thing that you did already. And you're like, I looked in the mirror and I was like, you have to do it. <laughs> you look like me, you. Uh, and then uh, and then yeah, and then we even even the head of the ballet school, uh, a gentleman, um, Oscar Best, who's in incredible actor uh, in the yeah. actor studio right now. Um, Pam Guest, who plays the mother, actually uh, brought him up to us, and she was like, this guy is this incredible actor. He's this amazing presence. But also, he danced for Ballet Theater uh, Harlem. Dance Theater of Harlem. Dance yeah. Theater of Harlem. Um, and he danced there from 80 to 85. And uh, and so we were like, this is the guy. Like, perfect. this is perfect. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so it was a really organic process. And, uh, and yeah, it was very important that all the dancers were played by dancers. Talk to us about the set. The set was great. So the, uh, the one of the big things, and Cam locked this up very early on, um, there's a ballet school called Lawrence and Ballet, uh, Ballet California um, in Torrance, um, out in California. Um, and they had three studios that were just beautiful um, and all had very different characters. There was the big kind of like uh, slightly stark studio. And then there was the small upstairs studio that got the beautiful sunset light with wooden beams. And then there was the tiny studio that was half a closet and half. So we really, then there was three very different worlds that were ballet studios in the film so this one ballet like roof had these three amazing studios to play the, the spatial characters in there um, and from there then, then everything kind of came organically and then uh, and then everything else was shot in a studio on a soundstage talk to me about shooting uh, how long did it take you know is there any uh, what did you learn about the process so I believe shooting, it took three days, right? Yeah, it took three days. We really knocked it out. Of course, our typical long shoot days, we started super early in the morning. Gosh, what was our call time? Like, well, it depended. It depended, but we, got, we of course, got there super day. early. We had one 4 a.m. day. Yeah, we had one 4 a.m. day. Um, so three days, we knocked it all out. And it was a lot of, at least on the producing end, no sleep, a lot of coffee, a lot of adrenaline of just pulling things together last minute, um, getting all the details together, like 
prop sets, you know, the joys of indie films. Um, just, oh, I realize we still need to type up your letter from the ballet right, school right. and like, yeah, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we, I think we did pretty well in, we got our location set ahead of time. Right. Thank you, Ballet California. Mm -hmm. um, we had the crafty all set like about a week before, just real fun. <laughs> we had some fun crafty options on some days. Um, but I think we had a really you know, part of my half French, badass crew and cast. So we had things pretty pulled together every day. I mean, we didn't like have issues with anything, you know? You want to speak on a little bit about that? So, so uh, I'll talk a little bit about the set and just kind of overarching what I learned. Uh, it was very early on within our conversations to have a really positive culture mm -hmm. on set. And it's, it was so important uh, because we knew what we were trying to do in a short period of time. And we, we needed experience, but more importantly, we needed, you know, just things to move smoothly. And, you know, luckily we, we, we had brought together a really great team, uh, cast and crew. And, and for me, this was the first time that I produced anything on this scale and learning all the pre-production, on set, as well as post-production, editing, sound, color. Um, shouts out to all the different departments that have to go into making a film. It's, it's a truly wonderful that anything gets made. And uh, for me, it's just been a great education. It's been a great, great, great time. And I think we all have learned more than, you know, than we all experience. Yes. Uh, we're thinking we were going to learn, but yes. When was that aha moment? Was it during filming? Was it during post that you said, we have it? You know, you have a vision when you're starting to write this. You know, you have a vision of what you want this to look like. When was that aha moment that said, hey, this is what we, we're on the right track. This is, we nailed it. I had a lot of aha moments. It was like the aha, aha moment when everyone started asking me, oh, oh this script is great. Uh, are you going to make this? I was like, aha, uh -huh. that's, that's a, I have to do this. It was the aha moment when uh, Danny Mooney, uh, he was available to, to, to direct it. That was the aha moment. Uh, aha moment on set when I saw how things were just happening and, you know, the hiccups were just getting uh, worked through very quickly and, and easily. Um, aha moment uh, while editing, you know, certain scenes be like, oh, my God, we shot. We, we have everything for the scene. The aha moment for the first cut. You know, what, after our, our, our you know, um, uh, meetings with the sound people, you know, getting accepted into fist. There's been so many aha moments that, you know, it's, it's just, it, it's just been, a, I've just been so grateful. At the beginning of this interview, you said that, you know, this film for you especially was, you know, do I do this for me? Do I do this for others? Do you do this for you? I mean, do, do you feel like... Yes. You know, your ballet career, you, you were doing it for you and no one else? It was definitely an evolution. You know, uh, if, of course, when you're young and you're, you're, you're looking on a certain goal, you think it has to be a certain way because you see it a certain way. But the longer that you're in the space and the more that you learn, you start realizing, you know, you have to love it. You, you have to like what you're doing in order to not not only be doing it at a high level, but to, to sustain it. The stressors, the, the travel, the, the wear and tear on your body and mind and soul, and being able to stay rejuvenated throughout the, all that process, um, you, you, you have to like doing what you're doing. And um, I, I think this whole um, process of making sandpaper for me has been, yeah, I, I love doing this and I want to do it as long as possible until the wheels fall off. Awesome. Lastly, what is the website and handles for the film so we can, you know, watch your successes and follow the journey of this wonderful film? So on Instagram, it is Sandpaper Film, if you want to follow that. My uh, socials are Cameron AB. Um, I have a website, CameronAB.com. Uh, and why don't you say yours? Sure. Uh, my Instagram handle is 12, so 12DMS27. Um, if you feel like Googling me on IMDb, go for it. And that's as far as I go with social media. <laughs> I don't really use social media, but uh, but you can always find me like through people tagging me and stuff like that. It's just the Danny Mooney. And that's it. Awesome. Congratulations and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you so much.